start with the primetime matchup in D1. Classical knocked off top seed LaSalle in the semis, looking to take down 14-time champ Hendrickson. Second half, Hawks mounting a comeback. Preston Santos, the jumper, and the foul. But Classical had answers all night long. David Duke, the drive, sweet dish to Jamari Johnson, 13 for Jamari. And Rodney Theodore closed things out tonight. The sweet skip hits the fadeaway. Then Rodney with the dagger three. He had a game high 30. Classical takes home its fourth state title, 82 71, and earning some respect along the way. You know, they've always won championships in the past years. They had seven straight championships, but th today we, we, we changed that. We can't underestimate teams in the Open. I mean, everybody saw this today, so they want to beat us. So we're going to go to the state tournament and treat everybody as the same opponent, and we're going to knock them off, too. Unbelievable. Division 2 Narragansett and Westerly going at it. The Mariners had a 12-point second half lead. Westerly making a move. J.C. Hamlin drives dishes to Mark Perry, who cuts the lead to 10. Then Westerly applying the pressure, forcing the turnover. Hamlin buries the three. All of a sudden, it's a seven-point game. But Narragansett quickly said, enough of that. Austin McKenna gets the outlet, lobs it to Jason Palmer, who puts away the win for good. Narragansett downs Westerly 65-54 to capture the D2 Crap. Yeah, it's crazy. You know, we, it's been a long season. We've played all awesome this whole season. It's really cool. We came together at the end of the season. It's just been great. It's been such a good season. So. It was awesome. I never thought I would be here, but I finally am. I'm just happy. Happy for my team. Happy for everybody. I'm just, I don't even know. I'm just happy. Classic between Burville and Sherahel for the D3 title. What a finish. Burville down one. Final seconds when Jared Cabral pulls up, drains the jumper. Broncos up 59-58. Last chance for Sherahel. Four seconds left. The ball is picked off by Dominic Esposito. He throws the ball high into the air. Burville thinks they've won. Not so fast. Nathan Morin of Sherahel actually caught the ball, called timeout with time still on the clock. Meanwhile, Burville thinks they've won. They're dogpiling, but you can see the refs get together, confirm, still one second left. So here we go. Cherho down one, second to go. Jacob Beauregard makes the pass of his lifetime to Tom Longoluco at the rim. Can you believe it? Cherho stuns Burville 60-59. Unbelievable. Yeah, that was, I, I still can't believe it. That was, that was crazy. It's unbelievable. I mean, think about the, the change of emotions and their attitudes from watching Barrowville and thinking the game's over and coming in saying, guys, let's run a play. And they're like, what are you doing, coach? I'm like, we have one second left. And again, I keep saying it, but it's just what, what they do and who they are. And that's why we're here. And that's why we had a chance to win a championship.